What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Doyle back with another video. And today's video is Car Convo Part 6. Now, um, in this video, we're going to be talking about what's the worst part about being a first generation entrepreneur, first generation uh, forex trader, man. So, um, I want to say this before I get started. Everything that I speak on on all car convos is by experience and shit that I'm dealing with, man. Um, I would never speak on something that I've never experienced ever in my life. Now, let's talk about it, man, because like it's great when you're doing good, but good also comes with bullshit too, man. So um, I don't even know where to start. The worst part about being a first generation forex trader, first generation entrepreneur is that you're gonna make a lot of mistakes, man. Like, and it's nothing that's gonna stop that from happening. Like, period. Like, you can try to prevent it, but it's going to happen because you're you're reaching levels where um, you never even reached before. Nobody in your family is is on that level. And I'm talking about when you when you make it. I'm talking about when you are successful and you're the first generation. You're gonna deal with the most bullshit ever, man. Because it's gonna to be tough. Because who can you go to? You're at the top of the food chain in your family. Nobody, you cannot call somebody and say, bro, you got 20000 bro. I just made a bad investment, man. Can you look out? Like, you can't do that. You can't do that. Nobody can help you. you you're literally by yourself. People can, people can, like, give you words of encouragement, but, like, financially, they can't help you. And that's just the raw truth about it. That's just the raw truth about it. Nobody can literally help you, man. So when people say it's lonely at the top, bro, it is lonely at the top because nobody can relate. Nobody can help you, uh, teach you about taxes, teach you about um, like how to network. Like it's ways to network. Like you don't even, people be thinking, oh, just reach out to somebody and he's gonna respond. Absolutely not. Like networking don't work like that. I had to learn the hard way. I'm DMing people, trying to like network with other people that's getting to the bag too. And they're not responding, and it, and it's because you get you got to network when it when when you're when you got motion. Let me say that when you got motion, people are more more flexible to to hear what you got to say. When you don't got nothing going on, nobody cares. That like I literally had to learn that the hard way. Like um, people be thinking that everybody's gonna be here to help you, but it's not like that. Like you got to have shit going on, and 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 it's the thing when you when you got shit going on that can help them too. So when you network, it's, it's supposed to be a beneficial for both parties, not just one person asking for a favor. No, they're not gonna, they're not gonna respond, they're not gonna care, because especially when they came from the bottom. So if you try to network with somebody that came from the bottom and you're asking for a handout, they're not gonna help you, I promise you, because it gotta be beneficial. What's the point to keep helping when I'm not helping myself? You get what I'm saying? Everybody's trying to make it. Like, that's what you gotta understand. Everybody is trying to make it. So if you get to a certain level, they're not going to be just so willing to just help you because they're trying to stay at that level. That's just the raw truth, the facts. So when you're trying to network, when you got shit going on, when you make it, you get successful, don't be so quick to network with people. You know what I'm saying? Because on a flip side of networking with people, it could also be a bad investment. It could be a bad investment to network with people. Like I thought when I was going to come out here, I was going to be networking with all these traders and all that. And then I started meeting up with them, and I started realizing, man, like, it's not in my best interest. You know what I'm saying? It's not in my best interest at all. And it's not to knock other Forex traders or traders in general or even other entrepreneurs. It's just I know who I need to be around and who I don't need to be around. Like, and you're going to learn that the hard way. You're going to be mingling with people that you think is here to help you, and they're not really here to help you. It's for their own benefit. Like, I'm trying to save somebody because we're talking about first generation everything. You're not going to know how this shit work, how business work. How um, how um, bad investments can cost you your all the work that you work for just going off the drain because you're investing into the wrong people and you're being around the wrong people. Um, it's just lonely at the end of the day, man. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, you can't talk to too many people. Like, you gotta. You, it's hard to find people that's on your level. That's the hard part. Once you find somebody that's on your level and they're not out here scamming because there's people out here that scamming that's on a, a extremely high level. Got to be careful. So when you find somebody that's legit, that's getting to the bag legally, not scamming people, lock in with them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not what people think. Like you're watching this YouTube video, but I'm telling you right now, it's people on YouTube that's literally scamming people. I'm telling you this right now, like literally. So 
be very careful who you lock arms with and who you network and try to go out to eat and dinner with because I'm good. But like, that's why I stay to myself because um, I've been linking up with, with people. I'm not going to say no names at all because I, I don't really care that much. But I've been linking up with people and I've been seeing straight through all they bullshit and I'm like, no, I'm not saying nothing else to them. Like, like straight up. But um, yeah, man, like you're going to make mistakes. You're not going to really know how this shit work. Um, you're going to lose money. A lot of scams is going to come towards you. So like when you make it, people going to be like, oh, I got this business opportunity. Woo -de -woo -de -woo. And then you ended up having to do a lawsuit like straight up like it's going to happen i'm trying to tell people like it's so much bigger than just trading after you make the money from trading what's next we don't want to just keep trading forever you got to be an investor at, at, at a point of time so when you get to that side where you you got the capital now like it's like cap like money is not a problem how do i maintain it that is the main goal how can i maintain being on this level you know but it's tough when you got nobody to call on that's why mentors are important like mentors are very important i'm tired of people acting like they can just figure it out on their own you're going to figure it out on your own and you're going to lose a lot of money i promise you like i'm not going to act like i figured it out on my own like like it's not it's not that um simple trying to be a self-made six-figure earner or a self-made millionaire like it's tough bro because it's so much that comes along with this man but um yeah another another um part as far as being a first generation entrepreneur, first generation um, forest trader, is that it's just, it can get scary because you don't, you have never reached this level before. You can't tell your your parents like, damn, like I just got into this situation, like IRS just hold my account because I didn't pay all my taxes. Like it's just so much. And then like on your, on your come up, you're gonna deal with doubt, family gonna be on some bullshit, people talking shit, people not gonna really believe in you. And then when you make it, people coming out of nowhere congratulating you. Like, it's, that's just what is going to happen. I'm trying to tell you, this is from experience. I'm not speaking on something I, I haven't done. Like, it's going to happen. Females, yes, they're going to come out of nowhere. It's coming out of, like, dog. Like, it's going to happen. So I'm trying to prepare somebody that's watching this right now, that's like, they're on their journey. They know in the next two, three years, man, like, their life can change, man. Like, I documented my journey just so I can show people that it is possible to change your life. You feel me? And when you do change your life, a lot is gonna come with that. Like it's not just gonna just be um, glitz and glamour all the time. That's why that's what I'm trying to save people from thinking that when you do make it, it's gonna just be extremely beautiful. No, that's when the bullshit starts. The bullshit don't start when you at the bottom. It start when you at the top. Everybody coming at you, um, making comments. And it's just so much, bro. So um, I wanted to make this car combo um, for the people that's on the come up, bro. Like. I know people that watch me that they got stuff going on. You trying to build something right now and appreciate the journey because when you get to the destination, it's going to be another destination that you got to get to. But, but that, that goal that you, that you really want to reach, once you finally reach it, you're going you're gonna to understand that it's a lot of bullshit that comes with it. I'm trying to tell you, man. Um, I like making these car convos because um, I like to document stuff that I'm dealing with and stuff that I've already been through. And when I make it, when I make these videos, um, I know somebody can connect with it because you're gonna deal with it. I promise you, you're gonna deal with it, man. But that's all I'm. A what is he doing, man? Go ahead, man. Go, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Cause what the fuck are you doing, bro? Nigga, that's not even a lane. Anyway, see Miami drivers being crazy. But anyway, man, that's all I got on this car convo, man. Like. That's all I got on this car convo, man. Um, it's a lot of it's a lot of bad things that that goes on behind the camera when it comes to um, being a first generation. Everything, man. Like you deal with the most, man. You can't really talk to nobody. It's not really a lot you can relate to because they're not on what you're on. Like family, friends, they're literally not on what you're on, and they looking at you like, man, what you about to do next? Because they never even seen it before, bro. Like I'm telling you, like it's so much bigger than what people think it is. So that's all I got. Peace and love. I'm out.